Hi everyone, welcome back to Great Linguistic Expectations. A couple of days ago I returned from a trip across Finland. The places my friends and I chose were Echteri, Seinejoki and Tampere. If you think that it was just a small vacation and we picked up the places randomly, you are wrong. We built this trip around Sunrise Avenue concert in Seinejoki. No surprises here, I guess. Well, it was an amazing trip and we have a lot of emotions after it. However, along with emotions come the questions. So let me tell you a bit about this trip and I will appreciate uh, if you answer the questions I'll pose along the way. Our trip started from Ahtari Zoo. There were no decent places left in Seinejoki to stay at, but we had a wonderful chance to stay in Ahtari. This location allowed us to go and see pandas! Isn't it wonderful? Um, the first thing I should tell you is that I've never been so farther in Finland. Uh, I mean, I've never went farther than Helsinki. Well, um, I've been to Turku a couple of times, but I don't really remember this experience because it was uh, a transition point of going to Stockholm and we had like, uh, I don't remember, 30 minutes there and I don't have lots of memories of uh, that trip. Uh, so, um, it was also the first time I've seen uh, pandas ever in my life and gosh, that's an amazing experience. They were sleeping and eating and climbing and all that stuff. I know these are very regular things to do, but they are pandas and they are really, really cute. In fact, that's the first year Finland has pandas on its territory. There are two pandas, uh, a male and a female. I don't remember the name of uh, the male uh, panda, uh, but the female is called Lumi. Isn't that adorable? Uh, well, in general, the whole zoo is very nice. You walk along forest paths and admire the animals um, that seem pretty satisfied with their lives. But here comes um, the second question. The second? I forgot. Well, no, I haven't posed any questions yet. I have such bad memory. <laughs> well, the first question. <laughs> What's your attitude to keeping animals in zoos, even if uh, they live in such nice conditions? Moving on, I want to say a few words about the place we stayed at. It's called Honkiniemi, and it's a bit... Um, not a bit. It's very close to the zoo, <laughs> however, uh, the funny thing is, well, it didn't seem that funny at that moment, <laughs> but there are two places with the same address in the area. The second one is uh, 50 kilometers uh, away from the zoo, and of course we chose to go to the wrong one. We arrived at the hotel after the reception had been closed, but they kindly left us the keys from our room. And you know what? It would have never happened in Russia. Leaving the keys to random people who haven't even paid yet? No, never happening here. It's an incredible level of trust and that was astonishing. The hotel itself is wonderful. Semi-detached houses are scattered around the forest territory and uh, all this is situated by the lake. Wow, just wow. And uh, moreover, the hotel uh, provides uh, all kinds of entertainment. We really enjoyed, uh, what's it called, battle, battle boards. And uh, I've tried it for the first time in my life. Also, we enjoyed grilling makkara at 3 a.m. <laughs> after the concert and riding a boat. The most amazing thing about this boating experience is that when we um, went a bit further in the lake, we stopped and we stopped talking and we heard nothing. Literally nothing. I'm a big city girl. I've never experienced such silence, heavy silence, I don't know, in my life. So the second question is, what kind of magic is that? It was an incredible experience and I just love spending time near water. Further on, the concert. I'm not going to express my love to Sunrise Avenue once again, uh, because this time I have different impressions. I still love them though. 
So, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> Uh, um, first of all, we busted the myth about Finns loving personal space. No, just no. Not at the concerts. Um, like, boom, and it's gone. No personal space at all. But that was okay, I'm used to that. By the way, we've never seen so many Finns in one place before. This Alma SP stadium was sold out and it's for 10,000 people. At some point, uh, someone asked uh, whether there were only Finns at the show and it seemed that we were the only two foreigners <laughs> in the whole place. Uh, the following clip is about that. Is there anybody here who's not from Finland? We're a bit more. You're surrounded by Finns. It can be bad sometimes. As you may guess, Seinäjoki couldn't sell out the whole stadium only to its citizens. So uh, it led to us witnessing another wonder. A real freaking traffic jam in Finland. So here comes question number two. Are traffic jams common in Finland? I've never seen uh, that before and it was somewhat exciting. The next day we went to Tampere, because um, the day of Tuviasen was celebrated there. To be honest, uh, we didn't see anything very exciting at this place. There were just um, some food courts, uh, a moment sculpture and lots of people. But we had more time to explore Tampere. Uh, I should say my friends uh, were overexcited about this place. They even thought about uh, moving there uh, to live, like permanent. Per per I can't say that word permanently, <laughs> forever. <laughs> well, uh, I also liked it, but to my taste, uh, it's a bit um, urban and uh, hipsterish. I love old uh, Victorian architecture and modernism is not really my thing. However, the central square is very pretty and the ice cream is nice. The ice cream in Finland is always nice. And I need to share a little secret. I add uh, ice cream with licorice. I think I've started to... I'm st what's going on with my speech? I'm starting to like it. I think I'm broken. Please fix me. How come I love licorice? I don't love it yet. Uh, it's still very suspicious. But I'm moving in that direction. <laughs> um, well, um, I want to ask another question here. <laughs> I nearly forgot about that. So, people, do all Finns prefer this minimalism and modernism in architecture? Or are there any other lovers of something more sophisticated? So, these are the main things about our travel destinations. Now, real talk. <laughs> Guys, we are so impressed with the state of your land. Even some extremely rural places look so nice and decent. It's amazing how you take care of uh, your fields, your houses uh, and roads, even in very, uh, I don't know, distant places uh, and in every corner of your country. At some point we thought that it's too good to be true. Finland really seems perfect in that aspect. It's not even remotely like that in Russia. Our roads and countryside, uh, even uh, somewhere near the capitals, are miserable. So can you imagine what's going on in uh, rural places? And I have an example here. In spring, the Rasmus were touring across Russia, and when they were going from St. Petersburg to Arhangelsk, it's uh, farther in the north, uh, the bus, uh, or I don't know, the car with equipment, got stuck on the road because Basically, there was no road after the rain, and so, um, as a result, there was a two-hour delay of the show. Miserable, isn't it? So, question number five. How are the countries with the same nature and climate so different? Magic again, I guess. Next up, three short questions. Uh, the first is, where are the mosquitoes? <laughs> where do you hide them? Because 
We were walking in the forest in the freaking evening and not a single mosquito bit me. And usually they love my blood. I don't know, obviously it's very tasty for them. How? I need to immigrate uh, as soon as possible. Uh, then questions from my friends. Uh, what's the obsession with uh, old cars? They really look beautiful and antique, but there are so many of them. That's that's really like um, a very outstanding trait of your country. And the last question, don't be surprised here. Uh, where do your farmers keep fertilizers? And by that I mean, what's the word? Dung? Manure? Animal waste products? Uh, in Russia they just uh, lie near the fields and uh, it looks horrible. And the Finnish fields are so freaking perfect. So it rounds up this series of questions and this video. I'm really looking forward for your feedback. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.